Scientists say they've finally got to the bottom of why wombats have cube-shaped poop. Wombats are some of the cutest members of the animal kingdom, but one thing about them is continued to baffle experts. What's that? Well, the cuddly creatures produce poop in the shape of a cube. After decades of confusion, though, a group of experts believe that they have finally found the answer as to why. There are few mysteries in the animal world that come close to touching this bizarre enigma. Think about it. Science has been able to answer so many questions regarding different creatures, yet this is the kind of thing that stumps researchers. No one could figure it out. So the wombat's weirdly shaped poop has gotten quite a bit of online attention down the years. But why is this a puzzle that needs solving? Should the shape of an animal's feces really come under this much scrutiny? Well, the curiosity stems from the fact that no other critter on the planet leaves cube droppings behind when they relieve themselves. Wombats are on their own in that respect. So could the shape of a wombat's rear end have something to do with this? Not really. It's round. Beginning to understand the fascination now? It's all very odd. While the poop mystery sits at the top of the pile, though, there might well be a few other intriguing things that you didn't know about the cute creatures as well. Found in the wild in Australia, wombats are a type of marsupial that often live in hilly areas surrounded by trees. They're expert diggers that can create burrows spanning 100 feet. You certainly can't accuse them of laziness. On top of that, the adorable animals usually only come out of the ground in the evening. When the wombats climb up from the dirt after the sun's gone down, they go looking for food. The marsupials have a particular taste for plant roots, bark, herbs, and grass. The bark is also used to file down their teeth. They have to do this because a wombat's gnashers never stop expanding while they're alive. Keeping that in mind, people should be a little wary of getting too close to a wombat's living area. These critters aren't afraid of showing hostility towards humans, and those teeth can cause considerable damage. Wombats have a tendency to ram into perceived threats, too. The biggest of them tip the scale at nearly 80 pounds, so you'll feel that hit. Anyway, here's another tidbit to consider. Were you aware that wombats are divided into three different types? The first is simply known as the common wombat. As the name suggests, this is the prevalent critter out in Australia. It's got no hair on its nose, unlike the other two. Yes, the other two species are called the southern hairy-nosed wombat and the northern hairy-nosed wombat. No prizes for guessing what sets them apart from the common wombat. This pair also have bigger ears and smoother hair. Mind you, they all employ the same defense mechanism. You see, wombats boast particularly sturdy bottoms. That area of their body is packed with cartilage and this comes in handy if predatory animals try to attack them in the wild. When that happens, the critters just jump into a hole, leaving only their bottoms exposed. Thanks to the cartilage, the attacking animals find it incredibly hard to get a hold of the wombat. Sure, it's an unconventional way to defend yourself, but it works. And speaking of unconventional, that brings us back to the mystery that's been puzzling experts for years. Why do the cute critters produce cubic poop? Unsurprisingly, there's been plenty of speculation. As one specialist told National Geographic in November 2018, people have had all sorts of theories. The University of Adelaide's Mike Swinborn acknowledged, here's an example to consider. Could it have something to do with identifying the creature's homes? This theory suggests that wombats are physically shaping their poops after they've been to the toilet. Then, once they reach the desired form, the animals position the feces in a tower-like manner, placing them on top of each other. That's one way to make your presence known. The individual droppings also won't roll thanks to their flat sides. Swinburne wasn't too convinced by that theory, though. He believes that droppings are utilized as a marker by the wombats, yet not in that manner. It's not like they're trying to build little brick pyramids, the expert explained. They just poop where they poop. So does he have his own theory for this bizarre mystery? In Swinburne's mind, the lack of water in a wombat's natural habitat might be the key. They have to really squeeze every drop of moisture onto their food, he informed National Geographic. Could that internal pressure cause the unusual shape? It's an interesting suggestion, especially when you consider the wombats found in zoos. 
Yes, according to Swinburne, some of those zoo wombats don't produce cube-shaped poops. The potential reason? There's more water available in the zoos than out in the wild. Might he have a case? Well, to help untangle this peculiar enigma, another expert stepped up to the plate in 2018. Her name is Patricia Yang. To give a bit more background on her profession, Yang sat down to talk with the Slate website in January 2021. I'm an expert on feces, she explained. My whole doctoral thesis was on urine, defecation, and digestion in humans. A few years ago, I had no idea what to research for my doctoral thesis. My advisor had just started potty training his son, so we started talking and thinking about the urine system, Yang continued, then the defecation system. After that, she became a specialist in the subject, which led to a pivotal moment. You see, a simple exchange introduced her to the wombat mystery. One day, I was talking about human cylindrical feces at a conference, Yang revealed, and afterwards an audience member came up to me and said, you have to look at wombats. They have cubed feces. I had no idea what they were talking about, but I googled it and it was so weird. When an expert in poop says something like that, you know it's odd. The square geometrical shape is very rare in nature, Yang added. I didn't really believe it until I saw a sample for myself. And once she'd had the first-hand sighting, Yang felt compelled to launch a project to investigate the issue. Yang wasn't just a poop specialist. She worked for the Georgia Institute of Technology as a mechanical engineer, too. Talk about a range skill set. She and some fellow analysts formed a partnership with Australia's University of Tasmania to investigate the mystery in 2018. How would they get their answers, though? Simple, really. The group required wombat samples. A wombat expert from Tasmania joined our team, Yang told Slate. Every time there was a roadkill wombat, he got a call and he went to pick up the animal for us. From there, the engineer and her colleagues zoned in on the marsupial's intestines. Don't forget to subscribe for more inspirational stories.